Some time ago, there was a temporal disruption involving the USS Enterprise C. We thought the matter was fully resolved, but there was an oversight. We need to find one of the Enterprise C survivors, a temporal duplicate of Starfleet Admiral Tanay. Until we reconcile her displacement, the timeline is in jeopardy. There's one person in particular that can provide the location of the survivors, Sela of Romulus. We believe she's operating in the Cytor system. Meet me there to search for Sela and enlist her aid. If she's here, we'll need to draw her out. Seal is not easily found if she doesn't want to be. In the meantime, there's a structure on one of the larger asteroids, but the mineral content there is making long-range scanning difficult. I recommend we take a closer look. Our intel shows a lot of Romulan activity in the system, in Sela's name. Command believes she's planning an assault of some kind and gathering tactical resources. This looks like an abandoned Tal Shiar base. Well, it's left of one. It looks like the interior has been stripped of anything useful over an extended period of time. This could be the work of Sela's forces. They've been... Wait! Picking up enemy contacts. Romulan ships decloaking! Those ships were older, but battle-ready and in good repair. It's unusual of them to run so quickly. We should stay sharp. There's probably more of them out there waiting under cloak. In the meantime, we damage their propulsion systems in the fight. They're leaking plasma. As long as they keep leaking plasma, we can follow their trail. They're not trying to lose us. I've got a bad feeling about this. Unidentified ship, you are trespassing in sovereign Romulan space, and you are outnumbered. Surrender now. Oh, it's you again. No, you are still trespassing in my space, and I could use a new ship for my armada. and tell me what it is you want. Ah, I'd wondered when you'd get around to looking for the Enterprise C survivors. When the Enterprise C survivors were taken, my father agreed to let the rest of the crew live so long as Lieutenant Yar served as his concubine. She was executed, but my father held to his word. I am aware of their location, but I will only take you there if you agree. And what assurances do I have that I won't simply be executed? I will not agree to my death. If I agree to this, I will be held in house arrest, somewhere reasonably pleasant by my own standards. I will not be cut off from access to the outside world, and I will not be given any sort of death penalty. Further, you will allow my crew and their ships to go without harassment. The survivors of the Enterprise C were sent to a Tal Shiar prison world. Set a course for the Pictay system. I shall make my way to the bridge of this... quaint little ship.
I'm reading several Tholian ships on sensors, along with some unusual temporal fluctuations. Tholians dislike anything involving time travel. We should be cautious. If they think we're responsible, they may become hostile. This is the Pictay system, one of many worlds where the Tal Shiar would send assets important enough to keep, but not threatening enough to kill. Supplies to this world stopped when Hobus was destroyed, but the Enterprise C crew are proven survivors. I admit, the Tholians being here is new. Surely they won't be too difficult for you to handle. anomaly. It was emitting high levels of tachyon radiation and chronotons before it dispersed. I'll need more data, but I think it was an unstable gateway into transdimensional space. Scan one. I want to see what they were so interested in. Based on these readings, I believe I've found an origin point for these anomalies. They're coming from the planet below. I suggest sending an away team down to collect data. signs of habitation, but there's a lot of temporal disturbances down there. They're making it hard to obtain a clear reading at this distance. Assemble your most able crewmen and... My apologies. This is your ship. You give the orders. We've beamed down into an open courtyard within what's left of the Tal Shiar prison. Doesn't look like it's been inhabited for some time. I'm reading a number of temporal anomalies nearby, but my tricorder's having trouble analyzing the data. We're going to need to get closer. The shipments of supplies stopped long ago. Anyone alive down here will have a hard time. I suppose that's too bad for Admiral Tanay. That is what this is about, isn't it? There are two of her and no one else. If you find her, I doubt she will be alive. 
This world was abandoned by the Tall Shi'ar decades ago. I doubt there's anyone left. The survivors of the Enterprise C might have left personal items behind. This data pad dates back to the late 23rd century. It lacks power, but it should work once it's recharged. This place hasn't been inhabited for a while. Thing is, the tricorder is giving a range of time from three months to 30 years. We're dealing with some serious temporal flux here. That's one of the temporal anomalies. I wouldn't recommend entering its area of effect. From what I'm reading here, contact with the anomaly will do considerable damage to anything organic. That being said, I believe we can deal with this. Stand over there, and between the two of us, we should be able to nullify the anomaly. Someone's been here recently. The tricorder's picking up numerous signs of habitation in the area. By the look of things, someone stripped this area of all useful items and moved on. This gate appears to have been locked from the outside. Perhaps they knew about the anomaly but didn't have the means to handle it. Hmm. Ah, there's a manual override over there near our beam down site. We can use it to open the gates. When we disrupted this anomaly, it seemed to fracture, forcing more anomalies into our timeline. I think we might be able to use that to our benefit, though. I'll stay here and act as an anchor. Find the best spot and use your tricorder to emit the dispersal pattern again. We should be able to push those bubbles away from the gate controls. If you get stuck, I'll be able to get you out of trouble. The gate controls are trapped within an anomaly. We'll have to disperse it to use them. Looks like some of the closed gateways are rusted now. Find another spot. I think I can see a clear path to the controls. The gate's open. Try to disperse where you are. It should open an escape path for you. Excellent. The gate's open, and we can continue our search for Tanae. Well done. Before we move on, I've managed to bring the data pad online again. It might contain clues on what happened. Hmm. Looks like it's a personal unit. The primary user is Lieutenant Tasha Yar of Starfleet. Give me that! The first entry dates to 2389, nearly 40 years after she was executed or at least 40 years after she was supposed to have been executed. I am Natasha Yar, security chief for the Federation Starship Enterprise D. Well, at least that's who I was. For the past 40 years, I've been Tall Shiar prisoner 24601. But even that changed a week ago. Our regular supply drops from the Star Empire stopped three months ago. The guards started caring too much about what might be going on elsewhere in the quadrant and caring too little about their prisoners. We were able to overpower them. We've managed to recover some data pads like this one, but there isn't enough here for us to call for help or escape. I'm leaving this record in case anyone comes looking for us. Sila, if you find this, I still love you. I've missed you. Lieutenant Yar was supposed to have been executed. My father said it happened. There were witnesses. How can... 
clearly there was some judicious alteration of history. The Enterprise C survivors were here, but something drove them away. Something more than the loss of supplies. We should continue looking for the survivors. Your duplicate of Tanay may yet be alive on this rock. It would not have been the first time. No doubt he thought she might still have been useful in some way. I can see the pity in your eyes. Keep it. His decision allowed me to become the person I am. I do not regret that. Look, there's a path ahead. Hmm. This anomaly looks more stable than it is. It's probably less deadly, but let's not find out now. The generators died, and no one knows why. Richard thinks it might have been the big predators. Tanae thinks she might be able to salvage some of the parts. I hope she can. She's been glaring over the remains for the last three hours. Two more dead. We can't stay here. The animals know the fence won't harm them anymore. I rigged an early warning system using a trick I learned growing up on Turkana 4, but that won't stop them. Took a vote. Build a new settlement in the old secondary supply bunker the Tall Shiar abandoned 20 years ago. The surviving guard has agreed to guide us there. Loyalty to the Tall Shiar fades. You've been stranded with the inmates. Lieutenant Yar never discussed Turkana 4. When I was older, I discovered why. She was a survivor. It is clear that her arrangement with my father was just that. Obviously, she continued that trait into her existence here. There's more ground to cover. There's another unstable anomaly. The anomaly has left some of the rock in a molten state. You took readings in orbit. Surely we should continue looking. Clearly, these anomalies must be connected to your mission. Now, while you take a leisurely stroll through the jungle, I will be moving on. It appears that there are more survivors than initially believed. Ah, there's a lot of interference, but I think I'm picking up a life sign. Tanay! Go away! Leave this place! Again. Stay away! Stay away! It seems your duplicate, Tanae, is still alive. And she isn't pleased to see you. I don't really blame her. I wasn't exactly thrilled to see you again, either. She's run off. But there's an even larger anomaly close by. It looks like it was a structure at one point, but I doubt any survivors would remain in a ruin like this. Another temporal anomaly, and this one is larger than the last. There are temporal eddies moving through the area and a few stable locations between them. Now, if you establish temporal stabilizers in these three locations, we can disperse the anomaly and get a better look at the area. Hopefully, the Enterprise C survivors were able to escape the area before this happened. There's a stable pocket ahead of you. Set up the first stabilizer there. That's the first stabilizer. Two more to go.
Incredible! Dispersing the anomaly restored more than I expected. We should look for clues. We found an entire grove of saplings. Richard swears the same area was full of towering trees last week. He might be mistaken. We're both getting older. I, I thought I saw a Romulan in the brush. He was wearing a 22nd century style uniform. When I looked again, he was gone. Maybe I'm going senile. Richard insists I'm too young. Maybe it's because the outside world has been on my mind. Sila has been on my mind. I wonder what happened to her. While her father was a Tal Shiar general, he spared my life in the end. Perhaps he wasn't petty and cruel to her. I hope he wasn't. If you should find this, happy 50th birthday, Sila. I have missed you. I only regret we were separated. Shelter ruined. Last try quarter gone. Half our stores destroyed. Five dead. The hunters and gatherers returned to find many dead and unconscious. I used my emergency medic training, but I was a security officer, not a doctor. Devek might not make it. None of them can remember what happened. Without the tricorder, we can't scan the area or for internal injuries. I suspect that there is something on the planet causing anomalies of some kind has not reacted well. She's been talking to herself and keeping apart from everyone. A problem for later. Survival now. Some sort of temporal inversion happened here. Some of the rock returned to an earlier molten state, while some of the building materials aged over 200 years. Anyone standing close to these objects would have been affected as well, regressed to infancy or aged to the grave. Well, I suppose it was nice that Yar thought of me, but that doesn't change the fact that she was going to steal me away like a thief in the night. If she had truly cared, she would have stayed where she was. My father was not cruel or petty, at least not to me. He was hard because he needed to be. I thrived because of it. The Enterprise C survivors were surprisingly resilient. Tasha's notes are more sparse but seem to record a productive, if primitive, community. They mention a secondary site close by. If your Vulcan survived, there may be others, and they may be close. Over here! There's a path with recent footprints. I'm reading another anomaly, further down the path. Tanay might be there. The Tanay anomaly and its allies must be purged. That holy and away team must have beamed down to investigate the anomalies. This looks to be a well-worn path. Some recent footprints here, heading the other way. They might have run into Tholians. It seems your Vulcan passed this way recently. Perhaps the cavern mentioned Natasha's logs is nearby. We should follow the track. It seems many of the refugees would be alive if it weren't for the anomalies. I wonder how many are left now. I'm detecting signs of recent habitation in this location. Maybe we'll find more answers. This was some sort of dwelling up until a few months ago. 
I'm reading this right, there was an explosion of tetrion particles here. A fatal one, judging by the organic residue on the walls. No one's been living here since, according to these tricorder readings. Anomalies are temporal in origin. I... I... I, I watched Richard wither and die before my eyes. An anomaly appeared and moments later he aged a hundred years. We buried him this morning in the clearing. I, I never expected he and I would end this way. I miss him. Richard was a wonderful partner for these last decades. A good man. We built a wonderful life despite it all. My only regret is that Sela never got to know how kind and brave Richard was. He'd have been such a wonderful stepfather. Today hasn't been seen in days. I'm worried she won't come back. I I'm worried she will. I thought her strange behavior might be a degenerative Vulcan sickness, but it she was answering questions before they were asked, and she's been close to every anomaly that's happened. Maybe I'm jumping in shadows. The part of me that is still a security officer on the Enterprise doesn't think I am, though. This is Tanay. I have agreed to report the final words of Natasha Yar and to hold this log for the future. If there is one, if it isn't here already, I... What? No! Focus. Focus! Natasha Yar died of a fever. She... She wished for the story of the crew of the Enterprise C to be remembered. They were brave beyond expectation. She wished for her daughter to know that she was loved and that Natasha lived a long and happy life. But Natasha missed her and she hoped her daughter's life Wonderful. Natasha requests that if this law is found, that this record be conveyed to Sela of Romulus and to the Federation. Do not come near me. End law. I think I see movement in the bushes. Tanay? Stop following me! No! Go away! I told you to stay away! I, I am dangerous! You should not be here! No one can be here! No! Not again! No! Not again! There's a new anomaly forming. Folians! Purge the anomaly! Purge the contaminator! I... I see the logic in your presence here. I am anomalous. My presence here must be sufficiently reconciled to preserve the order of things. I presume you are here to accomplish this. Thus, I will go with you. All this time, she was here. I believe she was dead. Tasha believed I might come looking for her. She believed it so strongly she left logs in case. Tanay held her logs for her. And now, she is truly dead. This place has led to some 
interesting revelation, shall we say? I think it best we leave before more Tholians show up. Looks like we beamed up just in time. Several Tholian ships are on an attack vector. happening. It's happening again. Another anomaly is forming. I see you found my displaced temporal counterpart. Well done. An operations team is standing by on this vessel to assist with her temporal reintegration. Please beam her aboard and we will begin the process. It is possible that I may acquire a new set of memories as part of the process. A small price to pay to stabilize the timeline. As it has been said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. I see. Having read the briefing from Starfleet Command, I find her presence here to be most logical, considering the situation. Very well. I will take custody of Sela and deliver her to a secure facility once the reintegration procedure is complete. Beam her aboard with my temporal counterpart. It seems our journey is at a parting of the ways once more. I did, and I will. But I have a condition to my soul. about my mother. The timeline is stabilizing. Anomaly counts are dropping and our agents are reporting a decline in temporal aftershocks due to recent events. That's a good thing, by the way. The aftershocks of our recent discoveries on Pictae may take some time for Sela to resolve. I hope she's able to find a sense of peace and closure from what she's learned today. I'll be heading back to Temporal Command once we've fully integrated the two Tanais. Be seeing you.